Hey there, Jacob with Jacob Comics. All right, guys, I'm really sorry about my late night Friday upload. Um, it's been a really long day, though. I uh, I got nine short boxes of comics, and uh, it's the the most that I've spent on a collection. And um, there there's some really cool stuff in here. Um, I did have it did have some comic books slabbed. And this one right here in a in a top loader, and that's just a really cool Peach Momoko cover. I actually haven't looked to see uh, what the issue even is yet, but um, that's really awesome. That one was in a in a top loader, and uh, in in this collection they also had a uh, an Uncanny X Men 288 in a CBCS 9.8. And so that's really awesome. It's the first solo cover appearance of Bishop. Um, they had a, from 1993, Amazing Spider-Man 383. And um, it's not any anything special. There's a Nova cameo and a gatefold back cover. Um, but hey, it is in a 9.8, so we got an Amazing Spider-Man issue from the 90s in a 9.8. And another one right here, number 49, and this is a spec book. It's a first appearance of Coldheart. You guys want to get a closer look at that? And that's also in a CBCS 9.8, and so that's a really cool book. Um, and I, I didn't pay I didn't pay too much for the for the whole collection, the slabs were, were what they had. But this was the coolest one. Like, I was excited about getting this one into my collection. I think it's really awesome. And it's uh, Wolverine 8, and it's uh, signed by Chris Claremont in a CBCS 7.5, and it does present really awesome. And it has this awesome uh, back cover as well. And it's just, uh, as you can see, he signed it right there. Um, I'm super, super happy to own that one. Um, and so that was the, that was the graded slabs that uh, that they had in the collection that I that I purchased this evening. And then they had a bunch of these. And check these guys, check these out, guys. Um, it's a Wolverine AVX number 301. And if you look real closely right there it's uh, signed and it and it comes with a certificate of authenticity and you see you can see the picture of him signing the book right there um, so that is that is awesome and then uh, we have a Shang-Chi number one special Marvel edition and um, there's a certificate of uh, just being only one in a 1,000 copies printed of that. And then there's two copies of this uh, Mega Man Fully Charged, which are also limited to 800 copies. So that's really cool. Um, and there is a Virgin variant right here of the, the Mega Man. And that one's, uh, this is also art by Peach Momoko on the Mega Man. And this one is a, a, is a 63 out of 300 printing. So that's, that's really awesome. I, as you can see guys, this was a, this was a really awesome collection that I, that I was able to purchase tonight. And I'm, I am over the moon to add this stuff to my collection. Um, now we also have a Venom number 28 in a trade variant art by Peach Momoko and that's a, a 572 out of 2000. And there is also a, a Virgin variant of it, Venom number 28, um, and that's a 572 out of 800. And then there's the... Um, the Lock and Key number one, and that's also by Peach Momoko. And um, I think this is a really creepy number to get, but um, so it's a, uh, I'm gonna take a look there. It's uh, it's actually one out of 666 
So I got the first one out of the limited to 666 copies. Um, and then uh, this one right here is number 709 out of 2000. So there's two th uh, Venom number one, um, the end, uh, and that's a 709 out of 2000. And then um, I just thought some of these were really cool. These one, oh, no, there is one more. I apologize. Okay, there is this one too. Um, and this one right here is the Department of Truth number 10, limited to 500 copies, and this is number 47 out of 500. And uh, it's art by Ryan G. Brown. As you can tell, they, they definitely liked Peach Momoko. Um, and I'm not exactly sure which issues these are, but there's uh, some virgin variants of a Miles Morales that I still have yet to look up. It's been a long day. I just got back and I, I put a bunch of this stuff together to try to show you guys like some of the some of the stuff from this find. Um, there's a so there's a something is killing the children, number sixteen, and that's limited to one thousand prints, uh, and it's a Megan Hutchinson Cates. Um, and then, okay, this one is just, uh, I just thought it was cool. It's a uh, Champions number one. What is that? Outlawed Champions number one, Outlawed. And, uh, and there's a Virgin variant on that one too. So those are, those were really awesome. Um, they also had some of these, uh, metal, uh, you guys have seen these before. There's a Mighty Thor, uh, <laughs> Star, Starro, the Justice League, um, the Amazing Spider-Man, uh, Cap Captain America one, um, and then we're going to get into a little bit in the short boxes here and stuff. Now, if you guys do like this kind of content and you want to get something for free, I'm actually giving this book away right here. It's the Suicide Squad number one, and that's the first team appearance of Deadshot, Deathstroke, Harley Quinn, Duella Dent, and the Black Mana. And um, we're going to be giving this away for free. All you got to do to enter to win is like, comment, subscribe on the video, and you'll be entered to win. All right, let's take a look at some of the stuff in, in some of these nine short boxes and, and a little bit of teasers for uh, upcoming episodes and stuff like that. All right, so we're going to take a little trip. And as you can see, there, there is a lot of short boxes here. And I have some stuff set up on top. And so we can take a look at at some of the stuff. Now, as you see, can see here, this is a really awesome find, I, in my opinion. We have a Wildcats number one uh, image, Jim Lee. And I know there's probably a million of these, but I love them. Uh, Wildcats number two. And then we have a, a Miles Morales, uh, like the variants that I showed you earlier, but with the trade dress. Um, I'm not sure which one this is yet. I just thought it was a really awesome spider Gwen and then another really awesome spider Gwen virgin um, This amazing uh, Miles Morales virgin where he's like slam dunking a basketball um, This uh, miles kind of looking Sort of like he did uh, on on UF four on uh, on uh, Ultimate Fallout four, looking down at at the mask, and then a version of that, and then there's Amazing Spider Man number eight hundred and fifty legacy numbering, and so that's number forty nine, and then these are Virgin variants of something. I just thought they were amazing homages. Check this Todd McFarlane homage out. That's just, that's so cool, right? Um, and then, you guys are not going to believe this. And then we're going to head into a Amazing Spider-Man 55 variant fest. And we have a Virgin variant. And this one's actually the Carnage Black, White, and Blood Virgin variant. And we do have a Last Remains Black one. And then we have another 55 variant. And then we have a Gleason variant right there, second printing. Another Gleason variant red, the second printing. Another Gleason variant red, the second printing. And then uh, it kind of runs into some 
some other stuff there that wasn't as cool to show off right away. Um, so we're going to move right over here. Let me just get this and put this right on the top so I have somewhere to move these. Okay, so then, uh, then they had a Berserker number one, Keanu Reeves book. And then this is, this is just a lot of Peach Momoko. And it is beautiful. This Peach Momoko Virgin. Another Peach Momoko Virgin. Another really dark but awesome Peach Momoko Virgin. Uh, peach, it, it's basically a pile of Peach Momoko, um, if you can't tell. And they are stunning. Look at this Thor one with the, the Virgin variant. And then we've got the trade dress. And here we've got more Peach Momoko. And uh, like I said, she did like Peach Momoko. The co this collector did. But I do too. Oh, these are just amazing. Look at this one. I believe it's uh, Venom. Yeah, so that's Venom number 27. And that's the vir Virgin and then the Trade Dress. Um, so the, it's a really cool collection. It's been a really awesome night to go through this collection. Um, and then we have some old goodness here. We have a, a World's Superman and Batman together in World's Finest, number 181, 12 cent. The Incredible Hulk, 160. Yes. That's, yes, that's in here. A Shazam, number one. Not even kidding you. It's, it is a Shazam number one. That is, that is exactly what it is. And then we have a Crypt of Shadows, number 10. And then we have uh, Batman 332, uh, 323, we've got 324 right here, 322, Spider Woman number 31 with this Toys R Us uh, win a shopping spree, and this really cool cover with the Hornet uh, attacking her, that is awesome. Then there's a Sabretooth number 1. Uh, I don't know how that got in the older pile. My my bad. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, and then we do have a Swamp Thing, 60 cents. And um, I do believe some of these were from the the uh, really popular round. I guess it's not that one, but Swamp Thing number 15 right here on, on that one is Swamp Thing number 15. Uh, Justice League of America, 25 cent number 124. Justice League of America, 75 cent, number 249. And, oh, here you go, here you go. The, this is the, the Alan Moore goodness. Some Swamp Thing right there, 75 cent, number 56. And then there's some 25 cent Hulk. We've got number 202. And it goes to 30 cent, and that's number 205 crypt, with Crypto Man. And as you can see, these are all very nice copies. It's a very well kept, and um, the buyer was picky with what kind of books they were they were getting. We have a 227 with a really cool cover right there with all the Avengers. Um, we have a 289. We have a 287. Look at that cover too with he's and this one. Oh my goodness, these are. We have a 314 here, and then uh. Incred Marvel Superheroes featuring the Incredible Hulk, number 95. And uh, then there's some, some more stuff down here. So we got We Live that I thought was cool. Uh, it's a Venom 25. I don't know how it got here. Uh, Incredible Hulk 400 with uh, with that really cool cut. Um, sparkling stuff and then an incredible hulk uh 356 with uh with the hulk as gray hulk which is awesome and he says bikers are for wimps <laughs> i'm loving that all right and this next up we got a uh, venom um 19 amazing mary jane variant um i'm not sure it says like anyways I just thought it was neat. And then a uh, Spectacular Spider-Man 189. 
uh, Web of Spider-Man 100. Check this out, guys. Spectacular Spider-Man 137. It's Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man 123. And there you get there you go. That is what you think it is. The first appearance of the Thunderbolts. Incredible Hulk 449. We've got the Invincible Iron Man number one. Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man Annual number four. <laughs> the movie didn't do too well, but um, Midnight Suns Morbius number one. And this is uh I believe this is the first Scarlet Spider. It's why I pulled it out to show you guys. I put a web of Spider-Man 118. I think that's the first Ben Riley as Scarlet Spider. That is Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man number 64 right there. And that's the first appearance of Cloak and Dagger. Amazing Spider-Man 274. And we've got Amazing Spider-Man 250, The Invaders 31, Web of Spider-Man 34, and this, this is, check this out, Web of Spider-Man number 2, 65 cents. And that is just a really awesome cover too. Um, and then X-Men and the Micronauts number 1. Amazing Spider-Man 287, and he's fighting Daredevil. Look at that. He says, if I have to go through you to stop the Kingpin, I will. And uh, he's got some Daredevil here. Daredevil 190. Double-sized issue. It's a Weapon X. Try to get the glare off there. Sorry, guys. Weapon X. And then two copies of X-Men number 30, The Wedding of Scott Summers and Jean Grey. Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man number 109. And look at this cover. Oh my gosh, that is, that is just amazing. And this, look at this, I thought this was, um, I don't know if that's a first appearance of, of some guy named Manslaughter, but... We've got Amazing Spider-Man 271 right there. So those were awesome. And here's some more spec books right here. We've got Sleepwalker 1, another Sleepwalker 1, Kazar the Savage, number 1. It's awesome. Doom Patrol, number 1, from 1987. And there's two copies of that. And then Ghost Rider Rides Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven of that. You can see. So there's all the Ghost Rider rides again. If I can very carefully slide those over. Robin number one of five from 1991. Strawberry Shortcake, Star Comics number one. It's Wolverine number one by Percy, uh, Deadpool number one, Spider Woman Omega, Spider Woman Alpha, Spider Woman number one variant edition, and that's re oh, get the glare off. See, that is just such a sweet cover. That isn't that guys. That I'm loving that. Um, and then you've got Wolverine number one, uh, also a really awesome cover. All new Captain America number one with uh, with uh, Falcon as uh, Captain America there, and then uh, Captain America number one. And uh, I got some stuff over here. And this, <laughs> I hope you're staying tuned till the end because this is actually going to get really funny. Um, so we've got Venom, and then we've got the uh, Virgin on that. Yeah, over here is better without the glare. And then look at this. This is the Venom um, official movie collectible that you could only get at the movie theater. And that's really cool. 
Um, then we have a Venom Variant Edition. And that's just another awesome number one Venom Variant. Uh, Venom number 25. And a Virgin, uh, or like a, a uncolored variant of that. Same issue there. And number 29. And I just thought these covers were cool because it's like these collected variants of them. And then a uncolored version. And then you've got this uh, Venom, who is, is Virus. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 61 cover that I thought was cool. A Venom 29 cover I thought was cool. And a Venom 27 cover I thought was cool. Okay, check this out. You guys know this is my favorite character. There was there was another copy in there of uh, Spider-Man 2099 number one. And look what, look what we have underneath. That is a super minty fresh clean. If you want to take a look for yourself if you don't believe me. It is a beautiful 9.8 candidate. Uh, Venom lethal protector number one. And there is the series two, three, four, five, six, and then this amazing Virgin Thor, Virgin Thor variant. And um, oh, what am I doing? No, it's uh, Thor number one. Limited to 600 copies. It's 481 out of 600. I guess I didn't catch that one earlier. <laughs> Sometimes that's why I keep flipping them because I'm, I'm not quite sure. I, I just got this collection home. A really cool Black Panther version. Um, and then a Venom number 29 that I thought was amazing. Uh, also thought this was cool. I remember this as a kid. Spider-Man number three with the Spider-Man word with all the words backwards. It says something strange is going on here. Uh, Spider-Man number two. Spider-Man number five. And you guys know me in 2099. There's Miguel right there. Check him out. All right. And then you got, so we got a 2099 Alpha. And then uh, this is the this is maybe the some of the best part of the video right here. Um, so we have a X Men 181, and that's really cool comic. Uh, we have a X Force number one, and pardon me guys, I did I haven't actually looked, and I'm sure everyone's curious to know. And nope, it is an X Force card, so that is not the Deadpool card. Just I'm sure everyone was gonna want to know if I didn't find out. So it's, uh, it's just the X-Force card in there, but it's X-Force number one. And then look, watch. So we've got a, a X-Men number one. You want to count, the, count these and see how many there are. So X-Men number one, issue number one. Uh, so we got an X-Men and the Alpha Flight number one. We've got a X-Men 281. An X-Men 284. Uncanny X-Men 285. Uncanny X-Men 281. And there's more gold. Uncanny X-Men 282. His name is Bishop. Bishop, first appearance. We've got another 281 right here. Another X-Men number one, and that's the wraparound cover. All of these in very good condition, too. <laughs> they are nice. Uh, we got an X -Men, another X-Men number one. Uh, another X-Men number one. Another X-Men number one. Oh, another X-Men 282. Another first appearance of Bishop. Another X-Men number one. Another X-Men number one. And another X-Men number one. Oh, here we go. The real popular one. Another X-Men number one. I do want to say these are all CGC candidates, honestly. 
Um, they're very nice copies. We have another X-Men number one. So there was a lot of speculating going on in this collection. And I've not completely gone through everything. This is quite a bit of the keys, though, the better stuff. Um, so <laughs> we have a Spider-Man 400. I set that over here. I don't want to set anything on top of it because it's got that um, popped out cover, right? We've got a Venom 15 uh, Virgin cover there, which is really cool. And then check this out. A collector ordered this and got it sent to him and never even really opened it to read it or did anything, which is why I'm saying most of these are candidates because uh, she didn't read this stuff. She was, she was speculating. Lots of speculation going on, but we got a... Another one of the, like the sets I, I had with the regular and the virgin. You can see still uh, folded up in the send out. Oh, and that actually is a uh, number 359 out of 600. So that is super, super cool. Uh, we have a cable number one. Another cable number one. Another cable number one. And we have an Immortal Hulk number one. It's like an absolute carnage. It says it's second printing. I'm not sure. We have a Spawn 311, and that's the homage to um, Black Panther, to the guy that played Black Panther and his unfortunate passing. Um, I'm not sure I pulled this out. You know, hey, enter yourself to win the Suicide Squad number one. Comment below. Let me know. what. What is this? Seems to be something. I don't know. Lobo number 37. Haven't looked it up yet. I mean, I guess it's not hard to look it up, but it's more fun if you guys comment. Uh, <laughs> we got Amazing Spider-Man number 800, uh, variant edition. And then we have a Virgin Amazing Spider-Man 800 some issue of venom i'm honestly not sure yet yeah it doesn't say but cool looks cool uh, an amazing spider-man 15 variant there and the batman who laughs one i don't know if that's virgin or if that's just how dc does their stuff couldn't honestly tell you i haven't looked it up yet it also looks like a like a gatefold um front cover as well um and then i don't i didn't know i didn't look this up either i thought it was cool though uh spider-man enter the spider-verse number one you got uh peter porker and uh Sp you know spider ham and then there's uh there's gwen and miles and uh maybe that's first appearance spider punk i'm not sure i don't know i haven't looked them up it's just I mean, I'm not planning on selling any of this right away at all. I, I'm uh, I'm super excited to to own it and add it into the into my personal collection. Um. So yeah, guys. I don't know. That's <laughs> that is some of what I picked up tonight. I, it's probably a really long video. I'm I'm sorry, guys. This is this is awesome, right? Like, Chris Claremont signed this thing. He he touched it. He touched it, guys. <laughs> I'm terrible. Okay. All right. Moving right along. Um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, uh, I'm definitely going to show off some more, some more stuff from this collection. Um, remember, enter to win the Suicide Squad number one first team appearance of a bunch of those characters I named earlier. Just by liking, commenting, and subscribing on the video. And that's going to enter you to win the contest. And, um, heck man, if you guys are looking for any back issues, I actually do have, I want to say probably about 5,000 comics that I own now. And maybe about 1,000 of them are up on my eBay store. Hit the link below. Go buy some comics off me. I know I would love it. Um... <laughs> Uh, it'll, it'll help me continue making videos like this for you guys and finding lots of hot collections and stuff that people have 
and trying to get things um, kind of stored and, and kept kept safe for for you know future generations. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow on Saturday because I know this is a late video tonight. I am sorry, but I'll see you guys then.